Hey, what's up, everyone? You still up? What are you doing? You got work in the morning. Go to bed. I'm making a video. You're watching it right now, I guess. <laughs> Look at this topic. Man, this topic is lit. We got some new replies. Let's scroll down and take a uh, look in a gander. Ducky, two hours ago. <laughs> awesome trailer. Fred's logs are the ones that stuck. The kind of log that I was looking to find more often. The daily hassle of a cargo pilot who just wants to do his job. Having to work against a sea of creatures trying to eat your face and a career-driven manager who's completely ignorant of his subordinates' problems. Fred is a likable anti-hero, whom we can often relate with. Monsters or not, things need to be done. His logs also remind you of your own first encounters. While I found the other logs often forgettable and mostly skimmed them for possible information. Of course, logs need to uh, be logs need to be redundant, as players may find them in a different order. And there's a lot of uh, skim. Whatever that word, smidgelry. There's a lot of uh, chemistry, uh, whatever, relation chemistry. There's a lot of relationship diaries that are detached and unrelated from what you're doing, exploring and surviving. As for the diversity, is this an issue? The relationships of the future seem to be heavily bureaucratized, contractual relationship obligations, and the characters often seem satirically overdrawn, even visually in the PDA log entries. So is the exaggerated diversity. Well, I've got to say this about, you know, the future and corporations. If a relationship is bureaucratized to the point to where it's like a contract, then you got to look at the relationship as, uh, as is it profitable? Is it producing results? And what's the main thing that a relationship produces besides happiness, I guess? And what? Offspring, right? Gay relationships, bless your hearts, but you, you don't produce offspring. You know, you can't be, uh, I mean, I'm not saying that same sex, like two gay guys can't use their semen, you know, to fertilize other people's eggs. But you know what? That's probably what it is. I think I just answered my own question. Hey, how about that? I had a little character arc right there. Look at that, man. I got more character development than anyone in this game. Kevlar, how you doing, buddy? Welcome back. You had a nice little vacation. I'm sorry you had to come back to this shit show. So he's quoting Cougarific and Catalytic. He's just as surprised as I am. It's like, man, Catalytic and Cougarific are cool dudes. They're chill, they're vibe, they're smooth, they're relaxing, they're max and chill and all. It's like, man, you got them riled up. That's your red. That's your red flags. When you get the coolest, most relaxed people in your community speaking up, you messed up. You get somebody like me riled up. Well, that's not a big deal. Anyway, plus infinity for both of your comments. Kevlar says, spot on, accurate, and cutthroat to the point. This game and its roller coaster early access has been unfortunately filled with this last couple of years political and social agenda. I've been reserving my review and hope that it would have a miracle of 1.0 release. But this is just the most face palm of a last vid prior to release that there could be. Unknown Worlds must be mentally insane at this point to try and sneak this kind of free release vid in and for hopes of sales. With all the ramrodding of this early access down our throats, at this point it is grotesque at what a company will succumb to to drive their underlying views. Grotesque. And he's got a two for one. He's got a two for one. He's got the jab jab. There is no uppercut. He faked you out. He's not done. He's got a whole lot more to say. But this is going to be the end of the video. He's quoting Abraxas. And I'm going to specifically read out this specific quote. That's not why we did it. We're proud of how diverse our games are, including the first game where you play as a non-white character. Kevlar responds to that in particular. This pretty much sums up the direction and direct of, an, of Unknown Worlds, straight from the dev's mouth. I haven't been so appalled at a statement as this in quite a while. Just mind-blowing. For breakfast, 
you should be discreetly ashamed of yourself. If you non-white anything more in your stance, I feel a class action suit should be in order. Unknown worlds. Your um, community, it, it's like that meme picture, you know, where, where the dog with the nice little hat sitting at the kitchen table in his apartment and everything's on fucking fire. And he's sitting there sipping his coffee, you know, this is fine. That's the situation right now. Abraxas, Unknown Worlds, y'all are saying this is fine. Meanwhile, your community is at each other's throats, tearing itself apart, going after you, going after itself, going after the cat down the street. What are you going to do about it besides fucking nothing? Oh, I just answered my own question. Have a, have a nice day, everybody. <laughs>